Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Ka Hala, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Peace and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Overlook. This lesson is entitled um, Satan is Doing Triple Shifts, So Be Vigilant. And this is based off of. Uh, Personal testimony, I'm not going to get into details of what exactly is going on. Uh, brothers that know me, not even every brother, but certain brothers that know me are aware. And uh, it ain't about me. But there's, I have a personal testimony of Satan just turning the F up. Not on me, but on uh, on those around me, I'll say. And... This is how the this is how Satan operates because when he can't get to you, he's gonna go to the closest ones next to you. Whoever that may be, whether it be father, mother, sister, brother, uh uh wife, even children, you see. Because the longer we endure in this faith, we don't fall for the same bullshit as easily. You know, so Satan will have to try to go other routes to get at us. And that's why, whether it be even co-workers, different people we deal with, you know, Satan is going to jump on these people and they don't have the protection of the Lord. They don't have the light. So they're susceptible to being driven by Satan. You know, we have demonic thoughts as well. At times, that's just keeping it real because we're in the flesh. The difference is the Holy Spirit is is, is with us. So. When we have demonic or negative thoughts or wicked thoughts, we uh, acknowledge them and are able to rebuke Satan. And, uh, you know, when the Holy Spirit is there, the, the negative bullshit stands out more. So you're able to identify it easier and boom, just snip it out at the root. But those that have not the Holy Spirit, they're capable or, or I'll say they're susceptible to becoming worse and worse. And demons can just completely overtake them. So let's get right into a few precepts. It's not going to be long, but Lord's will, it will be edifying. First Peter 5 and 8. It says, uh, you know what? Let me read the sixth verse. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, that he may exalt you in due time. You see? Hey, matter of fact, let's jump up to the fifth verse. It says, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For Yahweh Hashem Yahshua resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. See, so the young men ought to be subject to the elders. Meaning that if the elders say, all right, do this, do that. All right. We are supposed to do it. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? Now, if an elder is telling you to do something that you know is off, then obviously use discernment. But we know that our apostles are set up. These are the men of the Lord. We wholeheartedly believe that in order to chastise us, correct us, rebuke us, exhort us, comfort us. Everything that uh, really basically a father would do for his child. Because these men are like spiritual fathers unto us through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. So the Lord set up order, and it's in order for us to be what? Humble. Because the Lord resists the proud. Okay, it says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Because the hand of the Lord, uh, the right hand is Yahweh Shai. And the men that have Yahweh Shai in them, those that's also part of that right hand. Okay? Lord's will, we are a part of that right hand. If we can endure in this faith through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So it says uh, that he may exalt you in due time, you see. So there is going to come a time of glory. Now we have to deal with the humility, you know, the chastisements, the tribulation, Satan getting on people around us, Satan trying to get in our minds. You know, hey, desire to sift you. Desire to sift, you see? 
uh, Luke 22 and 31, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And that's what we do when, when, uh, when we overcome these things. When Satan comes for us and we overcome through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. What do we do? We strengthen our brethren. We exhort our brethren and we encourage each other. In a good thing, which is to continue on in this faith. And there's examples like uh, Peter, Simon Peter, for example, he fell many times in the scriptures. Okay. He, you know, it should, there was a, a moments where his faith was lacking. The, the Lord even called him Satan at one point. All right. He said, get behind me, get behind, get behind me, Satan. So he fell, but what? But at the end of the day, he's still the head of the church, and the Lord is still dealing with that man. And that's an example unto all of us, as we know that uh, Apostle Peter is King David. But Satan desires to 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 sift us, man. That's his job. That's what he's created to do, to sift. And many men are sifted out. That we want to pray and hope that we are those that are able to endure, and continue on in this thing, in this faith. Doing this work, feeding his sheep, you know, keep keep on keeping on, um, yeah, keeping on, man. You know, praising praising the Lord's holy name, hoping for salvation. So now back in First Peter five and seven, casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. All right, certain situations, the Lord, I there's nothing I could do right now. I feel powerless, and I know that. You have all the power. You know, in certain situations, it's really things happen that are out of our hands. In certain situations, you know, like, man, I could have done this better and that, that would have avoided it. So on and so forth. But certain situations, you know, it, it there's nothing you could do to avoid it. And the Lord wants us to go through certain things for, for a particular reason. You know, but we, what do we do? We cast our care upon him. Let me see what it says in the NLT for that, just out of curiosity. 1 Peter 5 and 7. Give all your worries and cares to the Most High, for He cares about you. See, that worrisome spirit is really um, of the left hand. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't worry at times, but to constantly be in a state of worry, oh my God, oh, what am I going to do? That's effeminate, you know? Worries may pop up, but a man that's in the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is going to be able to comprehend those worries and to deal with those worries spiritually by prayer, by fasting, by getting into the scriptures, by, by edifying. You know, sometimes the, edit, the, the lessons that be coming out, we're being edified as we're doing the lesson. You know, as the edification is coming out to the body, we are also we ourselves are being edified and built up. So that's why it's so important for us to do these lessons because it keeps us locked in the faith. It keeps us focused on the most important thing. Eyes on the prize, which is the heavenly prize, the crown of life. All right. First Peter five and eight. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour, you know. And that Satan, but also the so-called white man. He has, uh, you know, he has all these snares and traps and things. And that's that left hand getting at us, man. That's that left hand seeking to destroy us, man. You know? It says, stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your Christian brothers and sisters. We're really is talking about brothers. They added the sisters. See, your brothers. All over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are. All right. So stand firm in the faith. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and get this and close it out. So I ain't want it to be too long of a lesson. And I'm actually pretty beat. <laughs> Satan been throwing your right hook, uh, your left hook, right hook, every hook, every direction, man. Coming at us every which way he can. But hey, we're going to overcome through the spirit and power. How about you, Yahshua? 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices, see? 
So we have to have a spiritual awareness of what's going on. And that comes with staying in the spirit and trusting in the Lord. So with that, all praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ochakadash, Shalom, Wabarakatam, Atatofelech, Shalom.